Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Starting next week during spring break, the hours are changing for the food distribution sites. The hours will now be 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that will continue after break as well. Don't forget to bring your students' ID numbers when you go to pick up food or learning packets. Learning at home can be fun. You can access AR while you're stuck at home. Use the web address as posted below. Do not Google to get there or it won't work. Sign in with your first and last initial and your student number, and then your password is just your student number. You'll still be able to look up any book and take a quiz. You should only take a quiz after you have finished reading an entire book. Fiction books you should not look at while you're quizzing, but you can look at a nonfiction book while you're taking the quiz. When you finish taking quizzes, you can go to your bookshelf and look at your progress over the past few months, as well as see your progress on the flower and see how it's growing. Good luck, keep reading, and keep taking those quizzes. Don't forget to write about it in your notebook. Make sure you're reading at least 30 minutes every day. Photos of our friends. Bristol did Coach Greville's jump challenge. And Coach is super proud of Martin for practicing soccer. Music Minute from Mrs. Huss. In 1984, the number one song was Footloose by Kenny Loggins. It was the main theme song from the movie Footloose. Get your virtual music class on Miss Huss's website, hussmusic.weebly.com. Playworks Recess System is coming to Toronto. Hey, Ronna Rams, it's Mrs. Wheatfield here. I just wanted to say that this week we're going to highlight Playworks Games at Home, something you can do every day this week with your brothers, sisters, whoever is in your house. So this week will be Play at Home Playworks. Hi, my name's Coach Brando, and today we're going to play Popcorn. What's the name of the game? Popcorn! This game can be played just about anywhere with any number of people. All you need is a ball or something to toss up in the air. The goal of the game is to throw the ball in the air and clap as many times as you can before you catch it. To play, form a circle. Have each person take a turn throwing the ball in the air, clapping once, and catching it. Once the ball has made it all the way around the circle, start again with two claps. Keep track of how many claps you've done. Each time you successfully throw the ball up in the air, clap, and catch it, move up to the next level. If any time you drop the ball, that's okay. Just pass it to your neighbor. You'll get another turn when the ball comes back to you. When we need to practice social distancing, remember to have your six-foot bubble between you and your closest neighbor. How many claps can you do? Let's play. And now, Coach Graville's health and fitness tips. Hey, Ronald Ramp, Coach Graville here, day four of my fitness challenge. Today, you're going to be doing the Baby Shark Ab Challenge. And instead of doing it with me, you're just going to go ahead and follow along with the original girls who started the whole trend on their own video. If you don't feel like doing it right now with the announcement, you can go to YouTube later and just type in the Baby Shark Ab Challenge. Good luck, and don't forget to send me your videos or pictures so I can put you in for the drawing. Have a good day. Shark to do to do to do, Grandpa Shark. 
Photos of our friends. Here's Leo and his sister Isabella again. This time they made a fort in their living room and they're getting their reading done inside. Very creative. Here's Sage Hunsaker from Miss Bowers' class, working at home. And here's Leilani and Alexi, working on iReady and ReadWorks. Jaden from Miss Overby's class made a cool puppet monster. Here's Sophia from Miss Bowers' class. It looks like she's working on ReadWorks. Good job, Sophia. Pet Picks! Mrs. Alberti's cat, Binks, decided to join the staff meeting yesterday. Silly kitty. Send us photos of kids doing work and reading books and photos of pets and maybe there'll be in announcements. Have a great day, Rana Rams!